This is my what I eat in a day on Slim and World. Bit of a disaster day. Started off with some apple raspberry strawberry and some Greek yogurt. For dinner I had three of these chicken drumsticks which I took the skin off. I had three baby bells and I had some carrot and celery. Then I ended up eating my stress, which I should not have done because it was over something very minor. And I had two of these bars as my health extra beat and I actually had my nails done and they were all nice and ready for spring. I actually bought these for my husband from a little shop that was in the shopping centre. However, I ate six of these. I think they're about maybe a sin and a half each. And then I had five of these, which are a sin and a half each as well. Then we ended up going out for Nando's, but to be honest, it was a bit of a bust. The rice wasn't very nice. I ended up eating about two spoonfuls. It was quite cold and really plain. I had the corn and the cob and that was nice. I didn't have any butter or anything on it. I had a portion of alumi, which I'm going to count as a healthy extra A. And I had a couple of chippies. So not an ideal day and I'm going to guesstimate between 20 and 25 sins. However, hindsight's a funny thing because I would have thought in my head that I'd totally blown it. And actually, if I ended up on 25 sins at worst, then that's actually not too bad. I think that's why it's really important to not just say, well, I'm off plan now and to actually count things because it's not as bad as sometimes you make it out in your head. And I think I can definitely pull that back this week. So, yeah, not the best day, but also not the worst. And I'll see you tomorrow. World. Started off with an omelette and some bacon on the side with all the fat cut off. I still measure my cheese every single time. So 40 grams of light mozzarella and had an apple on the side a little bit later. For dinner, I had these noodles. I had two of the chicken Iceland skewers, the salt and chilli ones, which are half a sin each. And I used one teaspoon of gochujang, which is half a sin. Then I got my butt to the gym. I was trying to talk to the camera. However, the music in the gym was really loud. I was basically trying to explain how I'd been on this whole like mental challenge, the whole 30 minutes that I'd been on the treadmill, convincing myself just to do like 30 more seconds, 10 more seconds, one more minute. And I actually really managed to push myself. I felt completely physically sick, like I was going to throw up. And as soon as I saw I had only 30 seconds left to go, I got this like really weird euphoric feeling. I'm starting to think, does everyone feel that? Is that why they say exercise is good for you? Because I've never had it before. I think it was props just situational but yeah I had a good time at the gym then it was quick change because I was going to my mum's for tea we were having a little like pre-easter dinner with all the family because this is when everyone was available so my stepdad had cooked this lamb cleftico which was absolutely delicious it used like really minimal oil on it so I'm going to count it as two sins and they'd done some potatoes which had fry light on them my phone was in my handbag so I couldn't take a picture however my hubby had his phone on me so about halfway through dinner he took a picture for me for afters, I had strawberry and ice cream. I'd say about three sins for the scoop of ice cream that I had and half a sin for that meringue. Then I finished off the day with two of these bars from a healthy extra bee. So I've ended the day on maybe seven sins and I'll see you tomorrow. <coughs> Started off with some apple, raspberry, strawberry and Greek yoghurt. For lunch, I had these Texan beef slices, which are from Asta and just one sin for half of the packet and some carrot and celery. I was mainly picking at this because I was doing a lot of batch cooking this day. For tea, I had lasagna soup with a healthy extra A portion of parmesan, some carrots to speed on the side, and these dough balls, which are two and a half sins each. I had one of these Lindahl's protein type yogurty things, and this wasn't actually my favourite flavour. I'm not entirely sure why I picked this up. I think I'd got mistaken. However, I ate that. It was fine. It was half a sin. I had two of these bars from a healthy extra B. And to finish off the day, I had one of these guiltless whip bars and a reason, which are both two sins each. So I'm ending my day on ten sins, and I'll see you tomorrow. This is my mum's what she eats in a day on Slim World. That's my little boy helping me with a TikTok, which can only mean one thing. It's holiday time. Yeah. So I knew I won't be able to get much exercise over the next few days, or so I thought. So I started off on the treadmill. I managed to do 45 minutes, which I'm really pleased about. And I was actually at nearly 10,000 steps before it was even 10 o'clock. Then I had my breakfast, which is apple, raspberry, strawberry and some Greek yogurts. I'm mixing it up for the next few days, so no more of this brekkie. For dinner, I had these beef slices, a soft boiled egg, some carrot and celery and some yellow pepper all cut up. It was absolutely delicious. Then we were actually a little bit chilly when we first got here, so I got the kettle on. I had one of these lighter Cathedral City cheeses, which is half of a healthy extra A, and I had a peppermint and licorice tea. So we stayed near this really beautiful lake. We should have taken something to feed the ducks though, because we forgot. We'll have to try and remember something for tomorrow, but it was really picturesque. It's absolutely beautiful down here. It was a good walk and then back to the van for tea. I tried to think of something that would be quick and easy, so I ended up bringing this chicken soup, which is absolutely delicious. I boil the pasta separately just to make it nice and soft, but I don't like it when it's been in the soup the whole time. And then just added the soup on top, got it heated up, really quick and simple on the little camping stove. Then it was time to get cosy and stick a movie on.
I like to pull the bed out so that we can relax. So I had one of these cheeses, which is a half of a healthy extra A. Had two of the Skinny Dream bars, which are a healthy extra B. I had an Options Mint Hot Chocolate, which is one and a half sins. And I had a sin worth of marshmallows and one and a half sins worth of whipped cream. Then I ended up succumbing to temptation a little bit and having some of this Easter egg. Now, when I've worked it all out, it's around 30 sins for the whole Easter egg. We only ate half of it, so that knocks it down to 15, and we actually shared it between us. So I'm going to count it as seven and a half sins, and hopefully that's right. So not as bad as I originally thought. So I'm ending my day on 12 sins, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, hi, campers. Come along with me for my what I eat in a day on Slimming World. We woke up this morning and it was absolutely lovely weather. I know it doesn't necessarily look it from the video, but you could have convinced yourself you were in a different country. Start my day with some chopped up apple and then I had one of the burritos. The recipe video is pinned on my page. This is a really good option if you're used to using the health extra bees in the morning. However, I'm not and I do think that threw me off slightly. Then I got my little boy to take a photo of me. I've been trying to do an after shot for a little while. However, I just i am never happy with the pictures that are taken as always. And then we went for a lovely walk and we had a picnic. So I had some carrots and celery, some chopped peppers, some of the Texan beef, which is one sin, and a soft boiled egg. Yes, I did take it in a bowl like that and just put it in a sandwich bag, the whole thing. It was a great idea. And I had that with one of these Cathedral City, our lightest cheese on the side. That's half of a healthy extra A. And I had some of these Transformer saucy barbecue crisps, which are three sins. My little boy had a massive ice cream, but I managed to resist. And we had a good walk from the campsite down and around the lake and back. So it was around five miles and some good body magic. Then for tea, I did the Cajun cream chicken pasta, which uses one and a half of my healthy extras. It does take some effort to get all that cooking done in a camper van. You have to be super organised, but this was really lovely. And I had it with some peppers inside and some carrots for speed on the side as well. Then it was time for some little treats, so I had one of the mint options hot chocolates, which is one and a half sins, and two sins worth of cream. It had actually fallen flat by the time I took a picture, and one sin worth of marshmallows. I had one of these Lindol protein yogurts, which are half a sin each. And I finished off my day with one of these Freddos, which are five sins. So although I've enjoyed the breakfast burritos, I'm not going to make that a regular thing for me. I like to have my healthy extra B as my bars on a night because then I've got a little snack and a treat and I feel like I've had a little something at the end of the day. However, having my healthy extra B at the start of the day has really thrown me off a little bit, I think. I think my best way forward would be to sin the wrap or maybe make an egg type wrap, but we'll see. So I'm finishing my day on 14 and a half sins and I'm a couple of days behind, so I'll get them uploaded as soon as I can. Bye! This is my what I eat in a day on Slimming World. Started off with a chopped up apple and one of the burritos, which is a healthy extra B and one and a half sins. And we decided to do something super fun today, so we rented one of these dual chopper bikes. We'd seen them the day before, people zooming around the lake, and I realised that they were on motorised and we were not. So it took a bit of effort, but it was some good body magic, and my little boy absolutely loved it. This is definitely not something I would have entertained doing five stone ago. I would have felt too uncomfortable. And to be honest, it would have been really hard to get that extra five stone round. It was quite a lot of effort with pedalling. So I was really happy with myself. For dinner, I had this Texan beef slice salad. So I had that with some carrot and celery and two of the Cathedral City lightish cheese, which are a healthy extra for both of them, the 20 grams each. I then had two of these Ritz crackers, which are once in each. And we went to Doncaster Zone for the afternoon. This was really brilliant, mainly because I was going on all the slides and things like that and keeping up with my little boy, which again is not something I would have done five stone ago. Although I wouldn't say this is the best swimming pool, it definitely needed a good scrub up. This is just a Google image to show you, but yeah, it needed a good clean in my opinion. Then for tea, my boy really wanted a KFC and I had a Zinger Stacker Burger, which is 39 and a half sins and chips, which are 13 and a half sins. So I'm going to be totally honest, I did beat myself up a little bit about this that evening. However, now I just think, do you know what? It'll be what it'll be. It's not the end of the world. I'm not going to put five stone back on just from having a zinger stack of meal. So I need to get over it sometimes. And that was the end of my day. So I'm ending on one billion million sins. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow on Slimmer World Home from Holiday Edition. So I had my last breakfast burrito in a little while. That's one and a half sins and a healthy extra B. It was home time this day, however, I was coming home and rushing straight back out the door. So I had one of these Thai style cup of noodles. Not very filling, but it was okay. They're two sins each. I think it's the XL version. I was feeling super snacky this day and I had one of these guiltless whip bars, which are two sins. Then for tea, we had rotisserie chicken. We took all the skin off of that. We had these garlic and parmesan potatoes, which were absolutely delicious and sin free. Just using the healthy extra A and some carrot, celery and cucumber on the side. 
We went to the theatre this night to see The Officer and a Gentleman, the musical. This was absolutely brilliant. I think I was a bit too young for the film when it originally came out, so I wasn't sure on the storyline. However, really loved it. It's touring the country at the minute. Definitely go see it if you can. And while I was there, I had two of these bars. I'd actually had my healthy extra B for the day, so I count these as three sins each. So I'm ending the day on 11 and a half sins, and I'll see you tomorrow.